task arrays extend the NumPy interface to largely memory workflows on a laptop or distributed workflows across a distributed cluster. Task arrays look and feel a lot like NumPy, and they use NumPy under the hood. So briefly, if I have a NumPy array like this, 15 ones, I can make a similar task array with a similar code. But I'm going to specify also a chunk size. Here I'm going to specify that I want chunks of size 5. So we can see that represented here. We have our task array. It's composed of three uh, length 5 NumPy arrays that add up to be one length 15 array. Then if I do something like, say, compute the sum of that array, that's a zero shaped array, that's a scalar. And as with all DASK computations, uh, I have to call compute at the end. DASK is lazy by default, hasn't done any of this work yet until I call compute. Then go, DASK goes off and runs that on my parallel hardware. Let's do that with a slightly larger example. Let's say we have a 10,000 by 10,000 array. We want to represent that array in 1,000 by 1,000 chunks. So DAS is creating a 10 by 10 grid where every element of that grid is a 1,000 by 1,000 NumPy array. So again, DASK arrays are just many NumPy arrays that are loaded lazily and in parallel across parallel hardware. Now I can do operations on this data set that look very much like NumPy. I can uh, add it to its transpose. I can slice it, maybe. So I might slice every other element and then take the mean along some axis. So if you're familiar with NumPy, this API should look very, very familiar to you. This produces for us some data set. Let's uh, take the axis across one. Now if I compute that data set, DAS will go ahead and do that in parallel for us, here using the 12 cores of my laptop. So DAS gives us the ability to operate in a NumPy-like way, but in parallel or distributed across a cluster. Now in this example, we've just used uh, some random data. Here we'll do random here as well. Or the ones, that, the, or ones which isn't very exciting. In practice, DAS is often used with file formats like HDF5 or ZAR or NetCDF, some file format that supports NumPy-like slicing. So in these situations, you might load a file from HDF5 from your disk, get out something that looks like a NumPy array and that it can be sliced and has a shape and a data type, then use the from array function. You can find more information about this in our documentation on how to create DASK arrays. There are a variety of ways to do that.